quiet now. I love Velikovsky. I don't know about his theories on, on Saturn. I didn't really find a lot of value in his in, in his uh, astronomical theories. I, I really loved his history and his out of the box thinking. I love the fact that he was a he was a uh, was a clinical psychologist or a, or a psychotherapist or something. And he had no business writing the things he wrote according to the scientific community. But when he, when his scientific predictions about Venus became true, they 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 still shunned him. They didn't care. They still shunned him, even though his historic materials are awesome. He also writes about the pre-Selenites, civilizations that recorded that they were here before the appearance of the moon. But he got most of his material from Hans Bellamy, and Hans Bellamy got his material from a, a Viennese uh, uh, engineer named uh, Hans Boringer. Yeah, I mean, I've read all these guys. I love them. I love the out-of-the-box. Man, the history books from before World War II are nothing like those today. Nothing. That's why I encourage you guys to go through my playlist. I have book recommendations. You can look them up. I show the books. You need to order those. It's where I get my source material. It's where I put my whole whole deal together. It's it's uh I I try not to read anything published, you know, too far after World War II.